Welcome to Tennessee's Governor's Mansion. We're gonna take you on a tour. Yeah, this place was actually built back in 1929 and no renovations were done on it for about 75 years. Some of these governors were living in the house. Now think about this, the governor, he's living in a house that had lead paint peeling off the walls, leaking in the ceiling, and all sorts of other problems. Why did the governors live this way, you might ask? Well, we're gonna tell you. Coming right up. We cordially invite you to come along for the adventure. Come along. The Tennessee Governor's Mansion is all set up and decorated for Christmas 2019. The first tree you see when you walk in the front door is this one from Governor Bill Lee's family farm. It's a tradition the Lees have followed for many years to cut down a tree from their farm and decorate it for their own house. There are many other trees set up throughout the mansion. There's a special display case of ornaments. A nativity room that is set up beautifully. And there's even a book tree. Right behind us is a tree made of 9,000 books. Yeah, after Christmas, all these books are gonna be donated to the local community. There's actually three of these trees around the state of Tennessee. There are lots of cool pictures on display, including one of JFK pulling up to the gates of the mansion. And this one of a young Clinton family with Bill, Hillary, and Chelsea. Speaking of Bill Clinton, we were told it was in this office room where Clinton met Al Gore for the first time. Gore would of course go on to become his vice president. The mansion was originally built in 1929 for National Life and Accident Insurance Company founder, William Ridley. The state bought it in 1949. Every governor since then has lived in the mansion. The mansion is in wonderful shape now, but for many years it was falling apart even still using the original ancient hot and cold water radiator system from 1929, which is now on display here. That's because no other governor wanted the appearance of spending a bunch of money fixing up the mansion, figuring it would look bad politically. Until finally, Governor Bredesen and his wife came up with renovation plans in 2005, which included a new conservation hall. We are now in the conservation hall. Underground, believe it or not. But actually, before this was built, they could only hold 22 people when they would have a fancy dinner here at the governor's house. So they would have to set up porta johns and other things outside, tents, in order to have everybody seated at the dinner. That was the purpose of building this hall. Renovations were completed in 2010. It was a lot of fun checking out the governor's mansion. Be sure to hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you can come along with us on future adventures. Come along.